Have you wondered how you could live a great life? Have you questioned why you haven't done it yet? Or do you believe it's possible for you? What is living a great life? And that would mean that you would have everything you wanted in your life, that you would be happy, that you would be abundant, that you would have the right career, the right relationships, and you're wondering how you can have all of those things. And I will tell you that you can have them all when you become your authentic self. That's why you were born. You were born to become and have all of those things. That's what your life was meant to be. But then what has to happen is that you have to decide that you're going to discover who you are, that you're going to become that authentic self, that person that you were born to be. And sometimes that's really challenging. Sometimes it's difficult because we have to move through our process of self-actualization or personal development or ascension, as I think of it. And that can be really challenging at times because you will doubt yourself. You will not believe you can do it. And then you will fail. You will have things that come up that will just knock you off your socks, so to speak, and you're not going to believe you can do anything else. And then you have to decide if you're going to get up again and keep going. Or you're going to have some vision that you are seeing that you're supposed to become, and you're thinking that's not possible. And I will tell you that will be the difficulty because you won't believe yourself. That's the only difficulty any of us have is believing who we are. We have something within us. It's, it's our soul mission. It's who we're supposed to become. And it's within every single individual, every person, except we may think, well, we're the one. No, it's not me. I'm the one person who couldn't do that who couldn't have something, who couldn't create this great life. It's just me. And that is never true either. Because if you are that one person who couldn't do it, that means you've learned something that you could show everyone else how to do it. That's how this works. I'm going to tell you a story because I'm getting ready to go and film a show because I'm going to tell everyone the story. And it's a perfect title. I'm going to Gaia um, beginning of June to shoot beyond belief with George Nuri. And my story is pretty much beyond belief, but I'm saying it because I want you to move beyond belief because when the more of us do that, then we live the great lives we're supposed to have. And then we also create a much better world because see, we have to be able to see beyond limitations, the limitations that exist within all of us. So I've been receiving Wilhelm, that's my spirit guide, since 1988. You might not have known that because I didn't tell anyone for more than 20 years because it didn't make sense to me. It's that, you know, um, beyond belief thing again. How am I receiving this information, this cosmic information that's giving me the ability to do things that I never thought I could do? And it, it was really a mystery. <laughs> and I was um, first started to notice that I had gotten into this business and made it become really, really successful and no one could understand how it was happening. It took me years to understand later that I figured out, oh, I was following my intuition, that I was trusting myself. Maybe it's because I was so young, I didn't know. And I was just going along with it. But that's not the most important thing because the thing that I will be telling the story is what I discovered is that anyone can have this great life and I was given something to have them do that. And that made no sense to me and I didn't believe it. And it happened in 2021. I'm walking down the street and I hear very clearly, we gave you everything you needed to know in 2012. Made no sense to me and I just doubted it. And I, I, I kept doubting it until I came into my home and found these messages on my computer from two, two, I said, that makes no sense. Then you start to understand we have levels of consciousness. We all do. We have an individual level of consciousness that we can change or move to. And then also we have a collective level of consciousness, meaning how many people are believing a particular thing and what kind of energy are they putting into the world or into their lives. That's really what it is. You can go into sciences and study all of that. But when I heard that 
in 2021, it shocked me. And so I was so shocked because we need validation. When we have something that comes up for us, we want validation to know that we're not making it up, that it's that it's real. So I went and I had two Akashic Records readings done, um, but I just published the one the other day uh, because I'd never shared the full thing. It was one that was done in December of 2021. And uh, because when I heard this information, I doubted it and I wanted confirmation and I received that confirmation so much so that I just broke down in tears, but I wanted to share it because I wanted people to understand that you may discover something about yourself that will be shocking and you won't believe it. And that will be the hurdle that you have to jump over to start to live that best life, the great life, everything that you're supposed to have, because the only reason that you won't have that life is that you're just not doing it. You're just refusing to do it. And that was me. So I can say that I do know. And so then when I got this confirmation, I said, I have to try. And so this is what happened. I put, I put people into a program. I, I only took 31 messages that I had received from Wilhelm that I figured this is going to do something for people because I wanted people to understand their importance, who they were, discover their life purpose, move through their trauma, their generational trauma, what, whatever it might have been. And so I said, let me put, put this together. And in December of 2021, I put these people in there. And what happened was I was shocked because it worked. They were transforming. They were doing things that I never thought they could possibly do. And that was because I didn't believe it. My limitation was in the way. And it was only the 31 assignments, the 31 things that changed these people. And the only complaint that I have had from anyone who's finished the 31 days was that there wasn't more. And that was me. See, because I stopped too. We stopped. We said, wow, could this be happening? And then we hold back. And those are the stops and starts that we will experience in our lives. And I did that. But I'm no longer going to do that because I'm going to finish. I'm going to finish and I'm going to put much more information in there. I never knew why I was saving all these messages for all of these years. I didn't know it was going to turn into a philosophy, a transformational guide for our new world. See, because that's what my guides told me. We needed to live in a different way. And so a new philosophy that said every person born has something within them that's valuable and has worth. And if they discover what that is. They live this great life. And then what happens is they pass that on to generations that come later. And so then we start getting rid of all this hatred and anger and, and division and, and, and misogyny and all those things. We just keep moving through them. And then we create a much better world and better society. And that's what happens. And I was given the work to do that. And I thought that didn't even make sense until I started seeing it happen. And then it says, because when you ascend to who you're meant to become, these other things happen. You start to become confident. You become more courageous. And then you can even experience physical healing. That was probably the most shocking. And then I just got the next final result of my, my blood work. If you've come to a Wilhelm session, you've heard that I look at things in my blood work to see how am I aligned with who I am. And the last one was like, wow, this is practically perfect. And I'm 73, so I never want anyone to think that it's not possible. You may not do it because of what your particular life pattern is. That might be something different. But to think that it's not possible is really a disservice to yourself. You can do anything. And that's why you can live this really, really great life. You just have to become willing to become yourself and own who you are. And that is a process. That's all that it is. I just happened to create a great one. <laughs> all right. I'll see you guys soon.